this is not easy but it is very easy i said i just trickish welcome back to my channel we are asked to find the value of the area of the shaded portion i forgot my mic i just had to put it on all right now like i was saying we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion now this is a quarter circle and this is a quarter circle as well um this is not drawn to scale please and this is a rectangle so if this is a rectangle then this is a right angle right this is also a right angle but these are not important yeah they are not important for now first of all um let us call this the length of the rectangle right so we call let this be a b c d okay so a d is equal to l we stand for the length of the rectangle so which means that this is also equal to c b because if this is a rectangle then this side is equal to the other side all right now let us call the uh, the radius of this smaller quadrant small r because this is smaller right let's call it r so if we call the meeting point m so it means that a m is r now if we call this point e this point then it means that a e is also equal to r so a e is equal to a m which is equal to r which is the radius of the quadrant okay now similarly let us call the radius of this bigger semi uh, quadrant capital r so if we do that that means if we call this point point b okay so it means that bp is also equal to capital r now where am i driving at like i said this is easy but trickish um first of all we note that da is equal to l all right so it means that small r ea is equal to da minus de right so ea which is small r is equal to da remember that da or ad is capital l minus de which is 16. okay so that is our small r now also capital r okay to get capital R, we are going to solve for PB, right? Now, CB, sorry, PB, which is what we are looking for, right? That is capital R, is equal to CB minus CP. Okay? Now, PB is capital R. I'm going to explain what I'm trying to do. PB is capital R, and this is equal to CB is also equal to capital L, right? Minus CP, which is 14. So if we call this um, equation 1 and this equation 2, I want us to note that um, small r plus capital R is also equal to 18 because a b is also equal to dc okay because both of them are the opposite sides of a rectangle so they are equal so that means that a a, a b which is r plus capital r is equal to dc which is 18. now let's call this equation three 
please hit that subscription button turn on notification bell if this is the first time you have seen this lovely channel give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing like comment and share it means a lot to us and then please tune in at your convenience by the grace of god yes by his grace alone there will always be something new for you to watch in this channel on this channel okay so thank you very much now look at what we have here remember that r plus capital r is equal to 18 from equation 3 we have that r plus capital r is equal to 18 now remember that your r is equal to l minus 16 so we can replace a um, small r with l minus 16 so length minus 16 plus and our capital r um where is it yeah is l minus 14 so we have l minus 14 and this is equal to 18 now if we collect like terms or group like terms we have l plus l then we have minus 16 minus 14 is equal to 18 now l plus l is 2l minus 16 minus 14 is minus 30 is equal to 18 now if we add 30 to both sides add 30 to both sides we will have 2l minus 30 plus 30 is equal to 18 oh sorry when did i get 30 from yeah minus 18 minus 14 yeah so i'm correct so 18 plus 30 all right so we have that 2l because minus this plus this is zero so we have 2l is equal to 18 plus 30 is 48 dividing both sides by 2 we have 2l divided by 2 is equal to 48 divided by 2 so 2 we divide 2 we have l is equal to 24 all right now remember oh we have cleaned that part remember that small r is equal to l minus 16 right so but r is equal to l minus 16 that means that small r is equal to 24 minus 16 so small r is equal to 8 all right so we are going to replace this with 8 and this with 8 all right now similarly similarly capital r is equal to l minus 14 so that means capital r is equal to we got our l as 24 right 24 minus 14 that means capital r is equal to 10. now why am i getting these values remember that we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion now area of the shaded portion is the same thing as area of this quarter circle all right plus area of this quarter circle now area of a circle is pi arrow squared all right so but being that this is a quarter circle the area of the quarter circle will be pi r squared divided by four now we have two quarter circles for the first one so the area of the shaded portion will be equal to area of the first quadrant which is pi multiplied by small r which is eight right squared divided by four plus the area of this bigger quarter circle which is pi multiplied by the capital r which is 10 squared divided by 4 so area of the shaded portion will be equal to 
pi x squared is 64 divided by 4 plus pi 10 squared is 100 divided by 4. Now, area of the shaded portion is equal to, when 4 divides this, we have 1, 1 remainder, 2, divides 24, we have 6. So what we have here is 16 pi plus, when 4 divides 100, we have 25. So what we have is 25 pi. So the area of the shaded portion is equal to 41 pi square units. Yes. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.